What's up weirdo, Shade Tree Surgeon here in the truck and today we are gonna show you the number one modification you can make to your dirt bike, especially if you're a big guy. So all y'all who have been following my progress know that I'm trying to get uh, into racing. I'm trying to start doing air scrambles and enduros and since I'm old, fat, and slow, I need every advantage I can get. So I've been pouring over the list of possible mods. There's a bunch of stuff I want to do to the bike. I want an electron carburetor. I want a gnarly pipe. I want to get the RK Tech Edge. There's, I have this laundry list of power modifications I want to make to this motorcycle to, to give me that edge out in the woods. But when I really got to thinking, there's one thing I need to do before I start bumping up the power on that bike. And one of those things is actually get better at riding it because that 300cc two-stroke is already plenty fast. Don't be a pussy, pussy! And before I get any better at riding, I really don't need to make it any faster than it already is. So what we've done to the bike is not make it faster. I'm gonna tell you right now, after looking at all this stuff and trying to figure out what power part to put on first, you really come to the realization that the number one thing you can do to a motorcycle when you're not that great of a rider and you're trying to get better is put suspension on it that's set up for you personally. It's not sexy, it's not bling, it's not a cool farkle, it's not something you can show off to all your friends because it's all internal, you know? And that's why it took so long for me to come around to that idea. I was just like, nah, man, I gotta have that FMF pipe, I gotta have that carb, I gotta have, I gotta have stuff you can see on the outside. But at the end of the day, suspension is what you need. We're riding these bikes off-road in gnarly conditions. Suspension is what wins races, and suspension is what's going to make me a better rider, not more power. And I'll get to the power thing later. Trust me, I always want more power, but I'm being smart about this one. And the number one thing that I can do to make me enjoy myself more when I'm riding off-road and be able to put more hours in and not beat myself up is to do the suspension work. So I'm on my way right now to 612 Racing to pick up my bike after the suspension has been set up completely for me. All right, well, we're here with uh, Ronnie at 612 Racing and I am picking up my KTM, which is sitting over there. We're gonna get everything set up. He's already done all the valving and everything in the shocks and uh, so he's gonna get the sag set up, but um, just for everybody who's watching, what did you actually do to the shocks to change them? Because I don't know anything about what valving or shimmy or anything that of like that means. Yeah, so what these are, these are the uh, 4CS 48 millimeter WP forks uh, that comes standard on pretty much all the EXE, XE, W models, and they came uh, pretty much on every bike in 2015-2016 KTMs. Uh, the 4CS4, something new that uh, KTM and WP tried, and uh, they kind of missed the mark on their setup with the four chamber system. That's what the 4CS stands for. So what we did is we got some stiffer springs to get it set up for you, and then also we converted it back over to a twin chamber fork. So. Uh, when you convert it over to a twin chamber fork, the valving has to be completely changed because it's set up for a four chamber system. So we changed it over to a twin chamber system. Uh, it frees up the fork, makes it a lot more plush, and a whole lot easier to ride. These things are normally set up for what weight of a rider? Yeah, so all the bikes come set up standard for about 165, 175 pound rider. So being that you're a little bit over yeah. the 165, 175 pound mark, we're gonna go ahead just, and up those springs. Just, just a little bit, and I think yeah. uh, you know maybe that's European weight, but that's definitely not normal American weight. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we went up on the spring rate, got you to the correct size, and and the spring rate basically gets you in the right part of the stroke for your valving to work correctly. So if you're always in the, if you always have the incorrect spring rate, then your valving will never work correctly. So I always recommend getting your springs done. Making sure you have fresh oil, that's the best thing you can do for your suspension. All right, cool, man. I'm excited to try this stuff out. 
Yeah, and, it's and, gonna be night and day better for you. All right, and all this stuff is set up for me now. Um, for you, those of you guys who don't know, I weigh about 295 pounds. So, uh, like, <laughs> like he was saying, just a little bit above that uh, Euro-friendly 165 that these things are set up for. So, he's a. Uh, what Ronnie has basically done is Americanized my KTM. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to get these forks back on for you, then we'll set up your stag and get you ready to go hit the track this week. Sounds good, my man. ready to test out my new suspension from 612. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm just hoping it makes this absolutely magical difference and it turns me into like the best rider that's ever existed, but I know that's just a silly little dream and I gotta be cool. So, <laughs> still expecting good things from it though, you know, still expecting good things. I've also uh, got my little setup here with the battery pack and my phone on a RAM mount because Part of doing all these modifi modifications to the bike, part of getting the suspension done is that I'm trying to race hair scrambles. You guys who watch my videos all the time will uh, know that I've been talking about that. I actually also just put this uh, spark arrester silencer on it. But today, uh, the plan is, is after I go out and get a little warmed up, is I'm going to try to do two solid hours. I'm going to, I got a little loop planned out here. I'm going to keep track of my time, average speed and distance on my phone. And basically, in order to do a hair scramble or enduro around here, um, most of them are about an hour and a half long, and you got to ride hard that whole time. So today, that's my plan. I've been training, I've been practicing, I've been eating right, I've lost weight. I'm actually down um, below 300 in the first time in a long time. I'm weighing in at 291 right now, which is almost 20 pounds I've lost. That's the plan for today. So let's go get warmed up a little bit, pick out my route, and try out some of these apps that got suggested for keeping, uh, keeping track of my time. I'm not trying to go too hard right now. Just want to get the bike warmed up, get me warmed up. Ooh. What a difference already I feel in that suspension. Whoa! Whoa! What was that? Whoa! What is this? <laughs> You guys aren't going to be able to see it because obviously I'm on the bike, but God, what a difference it feels like already. Wow. That's something that would have normally, literally, normally bottomed me out before. Not even lying. Wow. I got to be careful. <laughs> Don't want to get too excited here. I just feel like the front end just comes up so much easier. I don't know if that's just because the suspension itself is working better or what. But when I just lean back and give it a little gas, man, that front end just comes right up. <laughs> it so amazes me. I can just like come up, boom, land completely flat. I know I'm not landing right, but just like landing flat like a pancake and no problem at all. That is really something else. I don't want to wear myself out too much, but holy moly. I had no idea it was going to be that much of a difference. I was hoping it would be. Wow. Holy shit. They made it better. Yeah, I'm just, the suspension on this is insane. What's up, man? I'll be, I'll be 60 next month. Dude, I hope I'm so freaking tearing ass when I'm 60, man. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> well, you know what it is. You go through, we go through all that. We did all the other stuff, and then 
you kind of revert back to what you started with. Man. Somebody. <laughs> Dirt yeah, yeah. Right now here we ran into these three guys um, to give me hope for when <laughs> when I get a little bit older because they're all out here. Yeah, they're all out here tearing it up. So I freaking love it, man. They all just bought these bikes. That's awesome. <laughs> all right, here it goes. Two hour moto attempt. I don't know why I'm so nervous, but I'm super nervous. I know, I know. I just am. Oh God, I'm so nervous. I feel like I'm going to throw up. I don't know how am I going to be on the actual fucking race day. I'm just nervous just for practice. Right. Okay, just remember, I'm not trying to win a race. I'm just trying to go two hours. Two hours without crashing. <laughs> That's something I need to tell myself even here in the first lap. Slow and steady, Josh. Don't want to crash in the first fucking lap. I've been reading a lot of advice online on forums and stuff. It says there's just a whole lot of people who end up crashing in the first corner. And I don't want that to be me. Fucked up that corner. That's okay though. First lap. Get the first lap out of the way. And then we'll worry about worry about everything else. I got two goals when I go race. The first goal is to finish the race. The second goal is to not be on somebody else's highlight reel. It's the last thing I do is for someone else with a GoPro there to be like, hey, check out this dumbass who fucking went ass over tea kettle and busted himself up. Don't make the highlight reel. You know how you don't make the highlight reel? I'm riding within your limits. All right. First trail. Ride within your limits, dipshit. Nothing wrong with taking the first trail slow. Whoa. <laughs> Still getting used to this new suspension. Come on now. Whoa. <laughs> I thought I was going to go out of that turn. That actually fucking was cool. That was actually cool. <laughs> That's something I got to work on. It's like I just slid the rear end right into the turn. I don't know exactly what I did, so I'm not going to try to... I'm not going to try to recreate it just yet, but definitely something to experiment with. Riding this bike with a new suspension, literally, it feels like cheating. All right. I definitely didn't recreate it on that turn. Oh, almost had my first crash. <laughs> I expect to come off the bike at some point while I'm doing this. Come on. I'm trying to transition a lot from sitting and standing. <clears throat> I mean, obviously, there's a lot of places I have to stand here, but I don't want to stand the whole time. It is a two-hour race. There are going to be have to be there are going to have to be moments where I sit down. Damn it, I keep crossing the rut. Stay in your lane. Ah, 
once again, I say it all the time, but so thankful for these hammerhead levers. They make shifting and braking so much fucking easier. Probably not going as fast as I could through here, but once again, I think I'm like 11 minutes in right now. This is not the time that I need to be pouring on the gas. I need to focus on not making mistakes. And I've already made a bunch. Again, whoo, fishtail. need to learn how to control that fishtail. Whoa! <laughs> uh, thank you, Ronnie Monk, who did my suspension. If I had been on the stock suspension, I would have 100% gone over the handlebars. You're a lifesaver, dude. <laughs> that would have been a race ender. <laughs> Come on, come on. Oh my God, it's because you're not entering with confidence. Got to enter with a little confidence or else you're just going to fucking dig that front wheel in, dumbass. Elbows up, balls on the tank, foot out, and don't be a pussy. Instructions from the man, Lee Stewart himself. idea if I'm taking these right or not. How are you supposed to take like little jumps like that in the in the path? Are you supposed to get air on them or is it better just to try to roller coaster through the whole thing? I mean at a certain speed it doesn't matter if you're not trying to get air or not you're going to. Come on. It's no time for fucking being a pussy. I almost went over the handlebars and it's fucking with me a little bit. God, that's a pretty big fucking jump right there in the middle of the trail. <laughs> got to hit reserve and I just realized I've made a critical error I didn't fill up my bike with gas that was fucking dumb oh right over that berm it's because I ran out of nut sack that's why I should have been able to take that turn Like maybe getting a little more confident in these turns. I still haven't made one complete circuit of the track. Part of the reason I wanted to do this at Bone Valley is that it does have these big open spaces like this. And a lot of these hair scrambles I've seen, they got a lot of big sections like this, or it's just wide open racing. So it's important to be able to go from that technical stuff right, right into fucking, you know, six gear pin. Yes, you have to do the hill climb. Fuck, 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 fuck. <sighs> Seen these courses, there's hill climbs in them, so don't be a pussy. Time to go right up it. <sighs> you know, I just realized I don't actually know what's on the other side. Whoa. Ha, I did it, I did it, motherfucker. I went right over that motherfucker, owned it, shit yeah. All right, don't slow down now. Motocross section next. <laughs> Definitely gonna be my weak point is turns. 
But that's cool. I think everybody's weak point is turns. One loop of the motocross section. Back into the trails. Try to be a little more smooth this time. Not trying to necessarily pile on the gas, just more smooth. God damn it! Come on, you can make that turn, buddy. You gotta be able to figure out how to make them inside turns. Back to the first trail. Officially done. Officially done. One loop. <laughs> when they aren't piled up all next to each other, I can actually take them as a jump. Almost went over there. All right, come on, man. Get your shit together. You already know this trail. Come on. Don't get tired yet. Come on. Whoa. Danger pole. <laughs> over that mud puddle. <laughs> of course it ain't much of a mud puddle, but <laughs> out here at Bone Valley, I'll take what I can get for obstacle crossings, you know what I mean? Oh, come on. Fuck that one up last time, too. Might have not have been fast, but it was smooth. And smooth is what I'm going for right now. I don't necessarily need to go 100 miles an hour. Just no mistakes. Remember, remember out here, where you almost ate it last time. Smooth and steady. It might not win the race, but it finishes the race. I need to learn how to keep the momentum from that rear slide going. I don't know if that's like the key to going fast through torrent corners, but the one time I did it right, it definitely felt cool. Come on, do your turns, do the turn. Lean. I'm so afraid of that front end washing out. Need to get over that. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> That was almost a bad mistake. I almost fucking went sideways into that tree. All right, calm it down, Bubba. Calm it down. Not too calm, though. Not too calm. Not too calm, though. Too calm doesn't accomplish anything. Anybody can come out here and putt around for two fucking hours. I'm trying to actually fucking cook for two hours, baby. 
damn it. Fucked up another turn, man. Come on, you're slowing down, dipshit. to slow down where I need to and make up time where I can. Not the prettiest turn, but I made it. Whoa, I think this is where I almost killed myself last time. <laughs> it's got a nice little lead up for that jump, doesn't it? Remember that's there, man. That's gonna be the difference between going home and finishing a race and going home with a fucking broken collarbone is remembering where shit on the course is, Josh. You know, I'm so used to having to gas it to get the front end up when I go over a jump. I think with this new suspension, I just freaking go over the jump, man. I don't have to fucking, I don't have to give it any gas. <sighs> Guess that's how dirt bikes are supposed to work. I don't know. Whoa. <laughs> Doing them Ronnie Mac air wheelies. <laughs> No time for that out on the trail, man. <laughs> Too much power, baby. You know, I always meant to put the green spring back in, but unfortunately, I lost the spring, so I guess I'm stuck with the red spring now unless I buy some more. Whoa, that was the one. That was the one that almost killed me. God damn it, remember where shit is. Remember, those last two trails, the first step is a doozy. <laughs> it doesn't look like it's gonna be big when you're coming up to it, and then on the other side, it's just dropped straight off. <laughs> Once again, thank you, Ronnie Monk from 612 Suspension for saving my life. I can definitely tell I'm slowing down. No time to slow down. I ain't even halfway done, baby. Stay in your lane, man. That's important. I don't want to get run over by somebody who's faster than me, who is going like, man, which side of the, which side of the track is this dumbass newbie going to be on? Are they going to go to make a pass and fucking rear end me? Woo! Fly, badass, fly! <laughs> Fat ass turn. <laughs> All right. Oh, I don't want to do the hill climb again. I feel like I pushed my luck too much the first time. Got to. You can't fucking avoid them. The hill climbs are in the fucking course, so you gotta do it. All right, do that motherfucking hill climb, you pussy! Uh, it's not going up at going up what I can do. It's going fucking down. Second gear. I think that's third. Whatever, do it! Fucking bitch! Huh. Ah yes! Ah, that fucking drop off. Oh, it scares the shit out of me! And I did it! I've done it twice! I know I'm probably being a big pussy, y'all fucking do that shit all the time, but guess what? I fucking don't. Don't be a pussy, pussy! Ah, 
I'm getting into my groove now. I'm getting mad. <sighs> you know, do it if you want, but I'm personally not that fond of people t doing that whole meme where they're talking to their bike saying, you know, we need to talk. Please don't kill me. Oh. <laughs> ah, fuck that shit, boy. This bike wants to kill me. You know what I say? Give it your best shot, motherfucker. <laughs> this motherfucker tries to kill me every time we go out. That's half the motherfucking fun, man. Come on, you still need to fucking focus on those turns. Just because you had a win doesn't mean you get to be complacent. Can't forget to downshift for turns either. Start sliding that rear end down and go into the turn expecting to get a blast of power and I'm a gear high and almost fucking take myself out. Whew, I just got a bad Charlie horse. Part of it, just work through it, faggot. Work through it. Guess what? If you're racing, nobody's going to stop and wait for you to uncramp your fucking leg. Whew. Calm down, buddy. Calm down. You're going to make this whole thing without crashing. I feel like I am very close to running out of fuel. Nope, that sucker's done. I just fucking ran out of gas. And I had to push this motherfucker about three quarters of a mile through an incline, through mud, through sand. So I stopped the clock, and I'm still going to count as two hours, because that three quarter mile push has fucking wrecked me. The race is still on though. God damn it. How about not spilling shit all over your fucking bike? It ain't fucking over, bitches. Holy shit, I'm fucking wrecked. Riggedy, riggedy, wrecked, son. I've only done an hour. Oh, back in business. Get back out there, you fucking giant pussy. Back in it, and I'm in it to win it, baby. <laughs> oh, shit. It's going to take a hot second to get my mojo back. Oh, god damn. I'm not finishing the race this slow. Just give me, give me a second. Come on. Give me a second to catch my fucking breath. It's like stopping the race and doing like fucking 50 push-ups right in the middle of the trail. Of course, I couldn't do 50 push-ups, so I guess it ain't doing like 50 push-ups. Get back into the swing of things. You can do this, Josh. I'm starting to catch my breath, man. Holy shit. Dude, what's the longest you've ever pushed a bike through the woods, man? That was about a three quarter mile. I thought I was gonna die at the end of that. I can't imagine pushing a motherfucker a couple miles. I just, I couldn't do it. I think that's all there is to it. I just, I'd have to leave the bike. There's no way I could push this thing a couple miles. Like, I was just, when I spotted the truck, I was almost like, it was, it was like seeing water in the desert. Thought it was a mirage at first. My mind's playing tricks on me. <laughs> I 
I'll tell you, I think after pushing that bike, I have passed uh, the Goldilocks area of getting past the jitters and getting tired. <laughs> There's only a small window that exists there where I'm just like, yeah, I'm riding good. Because I am definitely, definitely sloppier than I was about 15, 20 minutes ago. And that's okay, that's part of it. A part of it is learning where your body starts to give up. I'll say my body ain't giving up yet, but I am feeling it. I'm feeling the slop. It just means I have to be alert. Whoa. Whoa. You see, that's the kind of mistake you make when you start getting tired. Careful, Josh, careful. I know I lose a lot of control too when I eventually, just from exhaustion, I have to go to two fingers to control the clutch instead of just one, which takes a finger off the handlebars, which in turn, I got a little less control over the bike. It's this constant trade-off of one or two fingers on the clutch, two or three fingers on the handlebars. The trade-off is less control over each of them. Smooth, focus on being smooth. Not super fast, just try to be super good. I need to remember that good and fast are not synonymous. I was done with this hill climb yet. Not yet, motherfucker. God damn it. It's okay. Failing the hill climb is part of it. This is part of it. God damn it. You can get it the rest of the way up. Come on. Oh, maybe not. God damn it. These are stupid mistakes to be making. You did this thing three times already. Come on. Come on. No. Stop going down. All right. All right, buddy. This is part of the race. I think I'm getting up. I'm gonna have to go down. God damn it, you fucked that one up, didn't you? Yes! Yes, motherfucker! That's what's up. Ha <laughs> ha! Glad I went back. Finished strong. I just had to ditch my battery pack because it was falling the fuck off the bike. But that's okay because I only got a half hour left. And I think my phone can handle a half hour. See, that turn was slow, but my form felt good. Smooth. Just need to do exactly what I did there, but fast. <laughs> Ain't that the trick, though, huh? Come on. Do the thing, Josh. You can do the thing. 
<laughs> Do the thing! God damn it, no! <laughs> I almost did the thing! <laughs> that would have sucked to get my bike out of there. It's all fucking swamp full of gators next to the, next to these trails. Come on! I want to finish strong. Smooth, buddy, smooth. Ah, that wasn't very smooth. <laughs> you think I'd know where these things were by now. Ooh, clipped a tree. Danger pole! Come on, Josh. Smooth. Come on, do this. 20 minutes left. Finish strong, bud. Definitely getting harder to stand up. It's not actually standing up, it's just... Moving from sitting to standing, <laughs> that's where you start to get exhausted. I need to do like leg presses or something. Whoa! <laughs> Careful now, buddy. You're in the home stretch. Don't fuck it up now. Come on, 15 minutes, buddy. Remember, that first one's a doozy. Whew, that one beats you up. Remember, very first one. <laughs> Only had to bite me in the ass like three times on a fucking row before I remembered it. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a problem. I just had total muscle failure in my finger. I went to pull the clutch in and it just completely, complete muscle failure. Couldn't do it with one finger. That's not good. Not good at all. I'm definitely starting to reach my limits. I think I've kept my heart rate pretty good, but the other extremities start to fail. Like I said my clutch finger starts to fail. My uh, quadriceps from standing up start to fail. I'm starting to get cramps in my calves. But I do think I've kept my heart rate at a decent enough level. Obviously, I'm still talking that I could do this. If my muscles weren't failing, I could do this for much longer. It just tells me what I need to work on. Oh, I'm so much slower when I'm not confident in my clutch hand. It's starting to cramp up pretty bad. Whoa, holy shit, that's a big ass fucking gator. God damn. <laughs> holy moly. <laughs> you don't want to fall in that water, that's for sure. Old Bubba the gator there will have me for freaking lunch, dude. That thing must have been at least five foot long.
<laughs> That'll throw you for a loop. <laughs> Still better than spiders in your face. <laughs> Which do you guys prefer? Gators or spiders? <laughs> Don't wreck your last time out, buddy. You're in the home stretch. Oh man, cramp so bad. Oh my god, cramping. My clutch hand doesn't work. I gotta use two fingers. My legs are cramping. Oh god damn it. Oh, that hurts like a bastard. Come on! So close. One more lap, man. Oh, holy crap, that hurts. I cramps in my leg and my hip. And my hand doesn't work. Oh, this Charlie horse in my fucking leg is brutal. Oh. Oh, man push it hard for one more fucking minute you pussy oh my god oh, leg doesn't work oh cramp cramp oh. <laughs> motherfucker oh fuck not bad for a fat guy huh oh, now I gotta load these goddamn bikes up <laughs> well the torture never end all self-inflicted of course Jesus. <sighs>